welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by and watching another video. Welcome back to the shop. So I know we didn't have a video last week. Um, life got a little bit in the way, so we're gonna come back this week with a new video. And this is what we're doing. So it's about a four foot long piece of uh, pine. And it's about, I wanna say, I think four and a half, four and a half inches, something like that in diameter and I'm not going to be obviously turning this whole thing at the same time because my lathe won't fit this thing but um, we're going to take about uh, about six inches maybe a little bit more um, and do some bud bases so that is the plan for today um, I'm going to try to make several of them uh, only going to really show one, um, but I will show pictures at the end of all that I've made. So I uh, really want to say thank you to everyone that's hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, it would be greatly appreciated. Go ahead and smash the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you know when I got a new video going live. Also like and uh, comment. Let me know what you think about this project. If you like projects like this, uh, if you rather see, I'm going to get this, uh, about like I said about six inches of this cut off onto the bandsaw um, cut off the little nubs and stuff of the piece I'm gonna start with and then uh, we'll get it on the lathe I think I'm gonna start between centers and get going on it like I said this is pine so uh, I did have a bowl that turned out pretty good from pine I'll put a link for that up in the uh, in the corner if I can and um, we did kind of a weird finish on it so I think I'm gonna try a different finish on, on all these. I'm gonna to try to do, maybe do a, a fire finish like I did on the bowl. Um, do the abrasive paste, maybe just do some sanding sealer on one, just kinda of mix it up, cause I've got uh, maybe a shellac base, cause I've got a colored shellac. I, I might try to paint one, I don't know. Um, there's enough here for me to make probably six or seven of these things. So I wanted to make a couple and just, you know, try out some different finishes. So um, I'll leave, try to leave a picture of all the ones that I was able to make before I got this thing uploaded. Um, at the very end of the video so you can see what all came out of it so I'm gonna stop babbling I'm gonna get this thing cut down so we can get it on the lathe uh, stick around and see what we can make You'll probably notice a kind of a big jump from uh, where it was to just now uh, my camera shut off and I didn't realize it so <laughs> um, all I did really is make this a little bit deeper and kind of round off the edges here I'm gonna sharpen up my bowl gouge try to get rid of some of this tear out so I'm gonna get a fresh edge on it 
And then I'm gonna kind of go over this one more time. I think we're pretty much there. I might strengthen this just a little bit, see if I can get rid of this crack. Uh, so strengthen down the, the, this right here um, and get a better, better finish on it. And then we're gonna probably drill it. But I think the neck is about where I want it. Um, uh, I might go down a little bit steeper of a curve right here too. I'm not sure yet. So, um, but we got a little bit of ways to go. Uh, but that's the reason there's a there's a gap is because the camera shut off. So I'm gonna shut it off again and uh, sharpen the bowl gouge, and I'll be right back. All right, guys and gals, we got it done. A little bud vase, a little dry flower vase, a little decorative vase. Uh, not meant to hold water. Uh, 
So it can, you know, you can put the flowers that I could take care of it in there, you know, the ones that you don't have to do anything with because they're fake. So there it is though. Uh, this is uh, just, like I said, this piece of pine I got from my father-in-law. Thank you again, Donald, for that. Um, I, we just went with Axe Abrasive Paste as far as the finish on this. Um, I kind of wanted to see just how well the pine would shine up and I mean, you can kind of see, uh, see the, you can see the light reflecting off of it pretty. It's got a pretty good shine on it. Um, I was actually pretty impressed. Um, it's very smooth, very, very smooth. Um, I had a little bit of tear out in the, uh, in the upper lip here. I think I got pretty much all of it out, um, uh, before sanding on the body of it. Um, and then the, the bottom's kind of a nightmare, but you're not going to see that, right? It's boom. Can't see it. So, um, I, all in all, I'm very happy with how this came out. There are a couple more finishes I want to try. Um, and I think I'm just going to use this as like a, a testing thing to kind of see if they work or not. I might make, make a couple of different shapes and sizes. Well, pretty much all going to be the same size, but different shapes and stuff. Um, I might let my kids, you know, go to town on them with paint and stuff. Uh, my daughter would probably like that. Um, I don't know if I'll have any extras to show with the, at the end of the video. Saturday um, while I was doing this one I kind of twisted my knee so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get any more done um, this weekend or not so uh, but if I am you'll see pictures of those at the end too so uh, but you got uh, can you see all of those yeah that's uh, another another six blanks to uh, to you get kind of crooked hang on there we go <laughs> Uh, there are another six blanks for for about this size. So um, I think uh, I Might do those because I wanted to get this video done. I might do those in kind of a production run when I do them Sorry, y'all are just all over the place here. Can y'all stay still? Let me finish what I'm saying, please um, Focus there we go. All right, so I might do those in like kind of a production run and just try different finishes on all of them I haven't decided yet. So um, but overall really happy with how this came out Um super excited about it uh i just it's actually a lot prettier than i thought pine would be um it's got the the black and everything i kind of i don't know i kind of like it i don't know if that's how all pine is or if this because it's been laying in the dirt or outside and i don't know but it, lo it looks really cool so i'll show better pictures hopefully hopefully my my end pictures are better than what y'all can see right here all right guys so that's gonna be it for the video please please, please uh, make sure you hit that like button for me. If you haven't already, I would sure appreciate it. If you hit the sub button, you can ring that bell notification. You'll know when I got new videos coming live um, and comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, have you ever made these? These are nice little knickknacks. I've seen a lot of people make them for like um, craft fairs and stuff like impulse buys. Um, I haven't done any of those. I would actually kind of like to maybe now that it's warming up uh, here soon, maybe I, maybe I can do that um, and see if, uh, see if we can go to a, like a little craft fair or anything. Sorry. All right, so uh, phone's ringing. Things going crazy around here. Ha, <laughs> I had to pause for a minute. So um, got it all done. I don't remember what I was saying. If I hadn't said it already, um, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you know when I got new videos going live. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. And please share the video. Uh, share the video out. It would be greatly appreciated. Help me grow the channel. So um, put pictures up at the end. Uh, you're going to see a little ding in one because I just knocked it against something and pine is a soft wood. So uh, you might not be able to see it that well. <laughs> well all right, guys. We will hopefully see you next week and uh, hope you all have a great week. Enjoy the weekend and we'll see you next Tuesday. Thank you.